as the Redskins get set to host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What up, people? It's the divisional round of the playoffs. Look at lights, camera, action. Of course, I'm the Redskins, and I'm running up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which is being ran by no other than Joey Mo 23. Um, the Bucks, man, their franchise. I don't know what's up with their franchise. This is the third owner in the very first season. I don't know what the fuck's going on. The last two owners is just flaked out. I'm talking about turning like a 180. Like they'll come into the league, right, and they're like, they're cool, they're chill, and then all of a sudden it's like fucking mess and fuck all these people and they get their ass banned. It's just crazy. So hopefully, um, Joey Moe's, he won't turn out to be like the last two owners. But anyway, um, I'm running with Tampa Bay on defense here. Tampa Bay's defense. How ironic is that? Oh, nice CPU pick by Jammer. He just happened to, he, that was a terrible throwing ball. He actually had a step on him. So look at Justin Forsett just beasting. But um, yeah, man, Joey, Joey's at an actual disadvantage because he actually, he didn't draft his team. So, you know, it doesn't, it may not fit his scheme or whatnot, but I mean, he's making do with um, the players. And while I'm talking about Joey, man, how about the, the person who ever said that Joey runs Ghost's five wide? Fuck you. You know, I mean, I'm so sick of people talking about this person runs this and they always crying about, hey, I run hitches and curls. All you do is hitches and curls. But then they run wide trail the whole game and they wonder why, you know, motherfuckers don't respect their dumb ass. Because they're talking sideways out the goddamn mouth. <clears throat> but anyway. Nice pass right here. J J John Beck is just doing work. You know what I'm saying? He's throwing the ball very accurately right now. I think here I put it on in the end zone. Yep. To Justin set for 7. So we go up 7-0. And um, got a nice pick on his first drive. So here he is getting the ball. Second drive. <clears throat> Makes a nice pass here, and that should have been picked there. That should have been another CPU pick. Um, did not get. Unfortunately, I did not get it there. Now he makes another pass to the uh, flat routes. That was a nice pass. I think I'm bringing the blitz here. Yep, bring the blitz. And his his guy actually got bumped, so that's why um, his guy actually didn't get that one. So he punts the ball here and. I'm not sure why. Oh, um, the only reason why I showed that because I forgot to delete it and I was just too lazy to delete it out. So I got the ball. Second possession. Throw the ball out of bounds like a dumbass. Well, that was kind of smart because nobody was open. But um, what else I want to talk about? Oh, um, if you guys don't know or haven't been over to Man Students, um, Bill Parcells, I believe, is his screen name. He is having a tournament. At the end of March, $50 prize is free to get in. So um, if you haven't signed up yet, go over there and sign up. It's free. Like I said, yep, free. Don't get any better than that. Justin for that beasting again. Yeah, man, it's free. It's no, it's no reason other than you just can't be there. <laughs> that was a, that was a crazy ass throw in double coverage, and I actually came down with the ball. But yeah, there's no other reason other than Tom Wise that you cannot be there. Um, so quit making excuses. Sign up for the tournament. It's $50 and you don't have to pay anything to get in. <clears throat> uh, real quick, makes a great scramble there. Real quick, man, I ain't going to talk your heads off about the GameStop situation, but I just wanted to update you guys. Um, store manager, for whatever reason, is not returning my calls. I called him, I think, what was that, last Sunday, this past Sunday? And um, he didn't return any of my texts. So I took the day off. I got March 20th off. So March 20th is going to be D Day. Um, some shit. It's, it's going to get serious, you know. Hopefully everything works out for me and it don't, you know, turn out for the worst. So it is what it is. So um, the uh, Bucks are driving on me now. I think he's going to run. That was a nice run right there. He ended up running that one into the end zone with Garrett Blunt. Um, that was a good run play. I think he was in a pass and he audible down to a run. And I just did not um, audible back. 
or whatnot. So here we get the ball back. Um, one thing that um, I kind of knew pregame that Joy was going to run a lot of five watt. So that's why I was running with Tampa Bay on defense because um, I think they give me a better chance of um, containing the five wide with um, the five two defense, nickel normal, and um, the dime formation. But um, yeah, we're um, just grinding here. Just keep grinding. Um, it's been a long ass season, man. I end up finished the regular season um, fourteen and two. Um, so I got first round by in the playoffs or whatnot, <clears throat> and I think Packy won his wild yeah Packy won his wild card game and he's got he plays uh, God level in his second round. So the winner out of you know this game and the winner out of the Packy God level game will play each other for the NFC ship. So hopefully I can pull this one out. It's up seven up seventeen to seven right now. <clears throat> man, this football crap, man. Let's let me let me quickly talk about this football in real life football. I don't know what the heck the Dolphins are doing. They let they didn't re-sign um, Brandon Marshall for whatever reason. I don't know if he just didn't want to sign or what the heck was going on. But uh, I'm a by the way, I'm a Dolphins fan in real life, and uh, well, I was. It seems like year by year I've become less and less a Dolphins fan. Um, they got rid of Ronnie Brown last year. And now they got rid of Brandon Marshall. I'm glad they got rid of Chad Henney. Um, they should have kept John Beck. I like John Beck. I liked him at uh, BYU. I watched, I watched a couple of his highlights on um, YouTube. And I mean, I actually I watched a couple, some of his games. Not the whole game, but some of his games. And that's a nice fumble right there. Now I get a message from this random dude, I don't know what's going on right there, asking me, am I ready to play? I mean, what's up with that shit? Maybe Kilo can tell me, or anybody from Mass Students can tell me why he was asking me, am I ready? So, um, he takes it into the end zone here, and he makes it a game, you know, um, like 14 to 17. Look at this message, man. <laughs> Uh, that's, if you don't know what's going on with that situation, man, that shit's funny as hell. Swag jump. But yeah, this, this mofo said, y'all kicked me out like I kicked him the fuck out of the league, man. Come on, B. Don't play me like that. But anyway, back here throws a deep-ass bomb. Bam, gets it into the end zone. Gets Justin Forsett, man, he, he just beast this game. He, he came to play. Um, He did a great job um, doing his thing. So, um, Tampa Bay comes back out, you know, doing their thing. I think he's going to, yeah, he's going to scramble here, and he picks up fairly good yard. I mean, my defensive guy was just looking at the guy like, die for crying out loud. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on there. You know, just crazy. So, I get the ball back. He ended up punting, so I get the ball back. And right now, I'm just looking to, um... Just really just put up three. I mean, put up, uh, I'm actually want to, you know, put up seven if I can, you know, control the ball and the clock or whatnot. So, running the ball here, got X wide open. He gets just butt naked open. That's Kellen Davis. And I do something stupid here. And fortunately, he, he scoops down to try to pick up the ball and they don't give it to him and I get the ball back. That was just luck by my part. Look at Justin Forsett, man. Just playing like he's a 99 overall. Just breaking tackles. And then Ronnie Brown comes in. Poof, just get up off me, son. And he actually injures um, Nabi on that play. That was pretty cool. Second and ten here. I try to scramble and I'm fortunate my guy did not fumble the ball. I'm really glad he didn't fumble it because that would have been tragic. Here I try to force a pass. The clock is stopped. 2.46 to go up. Yeah, I get a field goal out of this drive. So now I'm up um, by 13. I'm fairly, I'm still kind of nervous because he still got the surprise onside kick in his arsenal. And if he scores here, it could be tragic. So um, he goes for a face throw there, overthrows it, gets a nice pick here, and I did not get the strip animation. So I don't know what was up, what was up with that, man. I couldn't get, and I get a drop pick here. And I'm, I mean, when I play the game, I, I've actually forgot about that, you know, but. Yeah, that was a tough one to swallow here. And then he, the very next play, he comes back and hits me with a streak. 
comes back out here, does you know, moves the ball pretty well. That was a nice pass or whatnot. Um, makes another great pass. So now he's moving down, and it looks like he's about to score. And I'm getting kind of nervous here because I really do not want to let him score. Um, yeah, if he scores, man, I'm like the surprise on side kick. Who knows how that shit will go? Um, the surprise on side kick is just random. I haven't been getting it lately or whatnot. So I'm like, I, I go to my um, fade throw defense. I'm really looking for the fade throw, and then he scrambles the ball. Oh, nice fumble, nice, like fabulous say, nice, start the music, yeah, buddy, you know what time it is, we are going on to the NFC ship, and we are playing, should I tell you guys who I'm playing, nah, I know who I'm playing, but I'll wait for the video to come out.